We've got live coverage for you right now. Uh, D.C.'s mayor-elect Muriel Bowser holding a news conference at which she is expected to her announce a key appointment in her administration. And we'll listen in. By announcing where we would house my deputy mayor for greater economic opportunity. Uh, in the second week, we opened our transition office and assembled a remarkable transition team to help attract the best people with the boldest ideas to help the district reach its full potential. I want to acknowledge our transition team members who are here, and I know Beverly Perry is here, and also Judge Mary Terrell. Let's thank them uh, for their leadership. In the last two weeks, uh, we launched our public engagement forums to not only deliver on a government that's inclusive, open, and transparent, but also to provide residents with an opportunity to share their fresh ideas on some of the biggest challenges facing the district. And I just couldn't be more happy that hundreds of Washingtonians and stakeholders have come down to Judiciary Square and where our transition offices are housed to put their fresh ideas on the table. You might remember that I challenged everybody not to just talk about problems, but to bring ideas to the table. I was also pleased to host a telephone town hall, what we think is the first ever, uh, with district government employees to also ask them um, for their fresh ideas. So with that, uh, today I move closer to fulfilling uh, another campaign promise, finding a professional city manager to help me with the day-to-day -day operations of our city. Um, and there are no more important day-to-day -day operations than picking up the trash and cleaning up the snow. So let's acknowledge and thank our hardworking employees at the Department of Public Works and Transportation. Give them a big round of applause. <clears throat> and there's no uh, mistake that we're standing in front of that beautiful salt behind us. Um, and so it brings me great pleasure to introduce and announce uh, that Rashad Young will be the next city administrator for the District of Columbia. Let's hear it for Rashad. I couldn't be more excited that Rashad has stepped up to accept this challenge, ushering in a fresh start for the district. Rashad brings with him a track record of success the experience to get results, uh, and the energy to execute what is a great and an ambitious agenda, agenda for all eight wards in the District of Columbia. We had to pry Rashad away from Alexandria, uh, where he has served as the city manager for the past three years, um, because we know that the residents of Alexandria and the leadership wanted to keep him a little bit longer. But they know and have wished him well the value that Rashad brings, the knowledge that he brings, and the experience that he brings to the table. Uh, Rashad has rooted his career in public service. He hails from Dayton, Ohio, and has spent his entire career building the expertise necessary to be an excellent public manager. He has been, um, for the, in the past 12 years, an assistant city manager, or city manager in urban centers around our country, namely Alexandria, Greensboro, North Carolina, and also in Cincinnati and in Dayton, Ohio. His tenure with the city of Alexandria was highlighted by initiatives aimed at improving communication, performance, and accountability. Rashad created the Office of Performance and Accountability to develop a culture and practice of performance management in Alexandria that is data-driven um, and focuses on data-driven decision-making. Uh, Rashad has been very effective in managing an expansive list of infrastructure projects as well. Rashad has been where the buck stops and has managed through tight budget seasons, created accountability um, and monitors for that accountability, as well as supported small business growth. Mayors he has worked for continue to rave about him. They say he's a terrific manager, he listens to the public, and has a collaborative approach to getting things done. Uh, we know we have a big task ahead, and I am very confident um, that we have the right person for this job. I look forward to working with Rashad as we build a District of Columbia that works for all eight wards. Again, I want to welcome Rashad, his wife Tamika, 
There are two boys, um, and we look forward to them making a home right here in the city that we love. Ladies and gentlemen, Rashad Young. Well, good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here today. And let me first start by thanking Marilek Bowser for giving me this opportunity and for placing confidence in me to serve in her administration and be of service to the people of the District of Columbia. I want to acknowledge my family who is here with me today, my children, Taj and Makai, my wife, Tamika. Tamika is the glue that keeps our family together. Her support has been unwavering. And without her, I wouldn't be standing here today. Washington, D.C., as the nation's capital, is a city that is both nationally and internationally renowned. It's a place like no other in the world, home to all three branches of the government, museums, and monuments that celebrate and tell the story of our nation, and tourists who come from all parts of the world to see sites that we are fortunate enough to have right here in our own front yard. D.C. is a city in which one day, heads bow to bid a final farewell to a beloved mayor, and the next day, heads turn to catch sight of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge on their first official royal visit. But Washington, D.C. is not just a leader among cities, it's also a community, a community of families who want to raise their children in safe neighborhoods and have them educated in exemplary schools. It's a place for young professionals who are attracted to the energy and vitality that is Washington. And it's the home of Washingtonians who have been here for a generation, some even five generations. So I'm honored to call, answer this call to serve the capital city, and I look forward to working with Mayor Elect Bowser to implement her vision for the future of the district. The Mayor Elect's commitment to excellent service, efficient use and management of government resources, an aggressive and robust strategy around economic and community development, and inclusivity within and among all eight wards aligns perfectly with the guiding principles and organizational focus that I've encouraged throughout my career in local government. Having worked in metropolitan regions and urban centers in four different communities within three different states, I look forward to bringing a fresh set of ideas to this city and being a fresh start for the district. But I will do so with the recognition of the tremendous progress and renewal that has been occurring in the district and with appreciation for the exceptional talent and expertise of the employees of the government of the District of Columbia who serve those that live, work, and play in this great city. So again, let me say thank you to the mayor-elect for the opportunity, and I look forward to our work together as I carry out my duties as your next city administrator. Thank you.